Today, I'm taking a look at a brand from one of the legendary icons in men's style. I'm talking about House 99 by David Beckham. Stick around. <music> Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And if you're into men's style or into soccer or really just haven't been living under a rock, then I'm sure that you're familiar with David Beckham. Now Beckham is a retired professional soccer player, but I think nowadays he's more well known for being an icon in the men's style community. And House 99 is a line of grooming products that was developed and of course inspired by him to meet the needs of today's modern men. Now House 99 did send me a number of products for me to look at. However, I do want to clarify that this isn't a sponsored video. I'm free to say whatever I want and give my honest opinion on the products, which as a consumer myself is what I would want to hear from somebody that's giving me a review on their product. And then I'm also going to be doing a follow up video with some more extensive use. I've only been using these products for about a week or so. so I'm going to be doing another follow up video because really I don't think you get a full feel uh, for products and you know the results that they can give you after one or two different times So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one now again if you're new to my channel I want to thank you for clicking on this video again. My name is Robert here I talk about everything to do with men's lifestyle whether it's fashion fragrances grooming uh, Fitness cigars whiskey really anything I feel encompasses being a man in today's age I invite you to subscribe and engage in the comments down below and to my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for your continued support. And with that, let's jump into it. So like I stated, I've really just started using these products. So I'm going to give you my initial impression along with some information in regards to the products. And then I'll also put a link down below to the House 99 website in case you're interested in picking up some of these items for yourself. Now the products I was sent were the hair and body wash, the beard scrub, the eye balm, the shaving stick, and the finishing cream, which is for your hair. So as you can see, they have a wide variety when it comes to products and grooming that's pretty much going to get you covered from head to toe. Now the beard products were the ones that interested me the most, so I'm going to touch on those first. Now the beard scrub was one of the more interesting products to me. Uh, I've seen a number of different products for your beard. Of course, you have your beard wash, your beard uh, conditioner, beard oil, beard balm for styling. Uh, but I've never seen a beard scrub, so this is definitely one that I wanted to try. The scrub is a mix of charcoal, volcanic stone, uh, ginseng, and it is paraben and sulfate free, which is important so that you're not damaging and over drying your beard. Now the scrub is supposed to wash and condition your beard, and the scrub itself is supposed to uh, help your skin manage things like beard rough and of course ingrown hairs. It's also a very good pre-shave prep which was good because when I first tried it, I needed to actually shave. Now it is a very thick product, like a clay, but it's very easy to scoop out and apply to your face. The directions are very easy. You basically just apply it to a wet beard, scrub for a bit, and then you rinse it off with some warm water. The scrub itself felt really nice in my beard as I was massaging my face, and it let off a really nice aroma. Like I stated, it's a good pre-shave prep, so I made sure to hit those areas that I'm gonna be shaving later. After rinsing, I have to say that my beard felt really soft and really nice. Uh, and my skin, where I'm gonna be shaving, you know, my cheek lines and of course my neck, felt good, it felt soft, it felt like it was ready for an actual shave. Now I have to say, I really enjoyed the scrub and I am looking forward to using it more often. Now let's take a look at the shaving stick. The shaving stick to me was another really cool product. Now usually shaving cream is applied with either a brush or with your hands, which can be a little bit messy and make it a little bit more difficult to get nice and clean lines if you have a beard like myself. However, this product being a stick, like a deodorant stick, makes it easy to apply the uh, shaving cream just to those areas that require shaving. Now like the scrub, you wanna apply this to wet areas, so make sure those areas are wet, and then you're basically just gonna apply it like a deodorant, gently gliding it over those areas. Now once the water hits the shaving stick, it generates a really nice, creamy, uh, thick lather that also lifts the hair and puts it in the best possible angle to get a nice close shave. Now the stick itself is very easy to use and it does generally get the shaving cream just onto those areas that you want to apply. It's definitely much easier and neater than using, like I said, your hands or a brush. However, it does still carry over into your beard itself or into my beard, uh, which makes it still a little bit difficult to get those nice clean lines. Me personally, I prefer using a clear shave gel when I shave. 
Uh, it just makes it very easy to see my beard lines. So if they were to do something like this down the road, it would make the product perfect for me. However, if you're used to using a traditional shaving cream, I think this is a very cool product, one that you should definitely check out. It's a very easy product to use, and the fact that it's in a stick makes it perfect for travel. Now the hair and body wash is something that I've tried, but honestly, I haven't used too much yet. If you've seen my previous videos where I've talked about my grooming routine, then you know that I prefer a bar soap over a body wash. Still, I did try the product, and even though it's a hair and body wash, I really only used it for my body. The hair and the skin on your scalp is very different from the skin and the hair on the rest of your body. So I'm not really a big fan of using products that address both of those areas. Although it does make it more convenient, typically products that are made for your body are gonna be a little too harsh for your scalp, causing you know, over drying and damage to your hair. Now the product says it leaves a nice long lasting fragrance, which is a nice fragrance. It's kind of minty and uh, citrusy. But since I wear cologne daily, it's really not something that I look for in a body wash because I don't want my scents to clash. Of the products that I was sent, this one was honestly my least favorite, so it looks like I'm gonna be sticking with my bar soap. Now the next product I'm talking about is their eye balm. Now I'm already using an eye balm and I definitely recommend you use one if you're not already. It really doesn't matter how old you are, there's a number of benefits to using an eye cream, but especially as you get older. It's gonna help you manage things like dark circles, bags under your eyes, and of course those crow's feet that we develop on the sides. And the eye balm from House 99 is supposed to brighten your eyes, reduce the dark circles, and also reduce those crow's feet on the sides. Now this is one of the products I'm definitely gonna have to be using for a more extended time to really get a feel for the effectiveness of the product. So this is one of the products that I'm really gonna be touching on when I do my follow-up video. Similar to the eye balms, you're gonna wanna put a pea-sized amount onto your fingertip and then just gently dab that onto you know, the areas under your eye, uh, making sure you get the sides where the crow's feet are and of course those dark circles under your eye. Now you wanna make sure you dab and not rub the cream into your eyes because the skin under your eyes is very delicate and the more you rub and pull on that, the more that you're gonna develop uh, things like the bags and the wrinkles. And of course, this is something that you're gonna to wanna to repeat twice a day after you wash your face, both in the morning and again at night. The product absorbed very quickly and it worked very well with my current moisturizer. It was another very easy product to use and I'm really looking forward to the results that I get after using it for a few more weeks. Now the last product that I received was the finishing cream for your hair. Now this is a product that's supposed to help you control frizz and also give you a light natural hold. Now even though the product is titled a finishing cream, the directions do say to apply it to damp hair prior to styling. Now I do get flyaways and cow legs pretty regularly, so I'm gonna be trying this product different ways, both as a pre-styler and as a finishing product. And then of course in my follow-up, I'll be talking to you about how it worked and if either one of those was better. It does have a very light consistency and I've only tried it one time as a finishing product and it was very easy to apply to my hair. So we'll see how this product holds on its own and of course as a finishing product. All in all, I have to say that House 99 has a number of products that'll meet the needs of most men. They had a couple products that I really enjoyed like the beard scrub and the eye balm and others that could use some tweaking like the shave stick and that body and hair wash. Packaging is pretty standard, but I do like the combination of black and white colors that they use. Pricing is right around what you would expect for better quality products, but ultimately it comes down to the results that you get from the products. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they work and the results that I get after using them for a few more weeks. Now, as always, if you found value in this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button down below. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you catch all future videos from this channel, including that follow up to this video. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Till the next time, fellas. We've got